we know that ours is not the only reality. Over the last years, this institute has exploited that fact to intrude and pillage and abduct, or as we would call it, investigate alternate worlds. In my career, I have been to places where mountains blow in the wind like leaves, worlds where the seas run red with blood, realms of pure desolation untouched by space or time or dimension. We have given each a simple numerical designation, as if such things can be neatly categorized, made safe. We have made the impossible routine, and we have deluded ourselves into thinking that there are rules to how all this works, that proper procedure will be enough to save a few under-equipped and undervalued field agents no matter where they end up. In doing so, we have chosen to overlook any contradiction or evidence that breaks the rules we say can't be broken. The 4081 incident, the repeated breaches by 4099, the man in 4039, the disaster that is the bestiary division, all these prove that this institute has no understanding of how the gates work or what steps we need to take to protect ourselves and others. We have been told that the gates cannot influence each other, that any similarities between them are a result of divergent timelines, repetitions within the infinite, or simple coincidences. I believe in coincidences. Coincidences happen every day, but I do not trust coincidences. During an investigation into Gate 4029, my team became aware of an incident that I believe may have far-reaching ramifications for this institute, something that cannot be dismissed as a coincidence. The Event Horizon was a starship constructed sometime prior to 2040 in that reality. It was supposedly a deep space research vessel that was lost with all hands on the periphery of the solar system when its reactor went critical. But none of that is true. The Event Horizon was in fact the culmination of a secret government project to create a spacecraft capable of faster-than-light flight. A narrow beam of gravitons was focused through a rotating magnetic field, folding space-time until its curvature became infinitely large and a singularity was created. The ship itself did not really move faster than light, but instead created a kind of dimensional gateway, allowing the ship to instantaneously jump from one point in the universe to another, light years away. On the ship's maiden voyage, it journeyed to a remote part of the solar system and its gravity drive was activated. The event horizon vanished from all scopes and disappeared without a trace. The ship had life support for 18 months, but seven years later, it appeared without warning in a decaying orbit of Neptune and broadcast a single transmission. Rampant distortion and a cacophony of seemingly inhuman voices made it nearly impossible to understand, but a single phrase was isolated. Liberatis me. Save me. With someone apparently still alive within the vessel, and the mystery of where the ship had been still unsolved, United States Aerospace Command deployed the Lewis and Clark, a search and rescue ship. When the crew of the Lewis and Clark, together with Dr. Weir, the Event Horizon's designer, arrived on the drifting vessel, they quickly found evidence of a massacre. Upon activating the gravity drive seven years ago, the Event Horizon's original crew had apparently fallen into a mindless carnage of fornication and slaughter. That Latin phrase was again repeated, but this time understood not to be save me, but rather save yourself from hell. The process by which the Event Horizon traveled through dimensions seemed to have torn a hole in reality itself and brought the ship outside the known universe. If the few survivors from the Lewis and Clark can be believed, then the Event Horizon had gained some kind of sentience. Both the rescue crew and Dr. Weir were plagued by horrifying, personal visions. Dr. Weir would face the worst of these mutilating himself in the same manner as the Event Horizon's original crew and attempting to return the ship to wherever it had been. Weir was ultimately prevented from accomplishing this, and the Event Horizon destroyed. In observing this series of events, the Institute has been content to label this an isolated incident, but I must entirely disagree. The method by which the Event Horizon achieved faster-than-light travel seems almost completely identical to that used by the and many of the other races of that reality. The Event Horizon was not equipped with any of the safety measures used by the 
and the consequences are again nearly identical. The supposed sentience exhibited by the ship, the visions plaguing the crew, the manner in which affected individuals mutilated themselves, these have all been similarly documented outside of the reality we call 4029. And not only in 4099, but in 5049, and potentially others. I am convinced that the Event Horizon incident is clear evidence that these gates we investigate, these realities, are not as separate as we believe, that entities, or whatever you want to call them, are capable of moving between them, just as we do. At the very least, I believe this is proof enough that we need to conduct a more deliberate examination of our safety procedures, and perhaps even strongly consider shutting down all future investigations entirely. Dr. Emily Taylor, Anomalies Division, Templin Institute. In light of Dr. Taylor's death, I believe this suicide note should be destroyed along with any other personal effects. Her conclusions in this matter were unfortunately influenced by her impaired mental state, and no further review of Templin Institute procedures or security measures are required at this time. All documents related to this matter are to be deleted and erased from the internal record. The Templin Institute investigates the nations, factions, and organizations of alternate worlds. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to join the Templin Institute, Consider pledging to our Patreon page. Along with increased security access, you'll be able to vote in polls to determine future topics, get custom wallpaper every week, and receive some other exclusive rewards.